Hey everyone, how is it going? My name is Obaida. I'm a software engineer at Facebook or Meta and welcome to my channel CodeSmart. In this video, I'm going to talk about an algorithm where we'll merge two sorted arrays into one single sorted array. And this algorithm is actually an integral part of merge sort algorithm. If you're familiar with merge sort algorithm, then probably you would know this. And I'm going to make another video on merge sorting so you can check it out later. Let's learn this algorithm first on how to how to combine two sorted arrays into one single sorted array. A little bit about merge sort algorithm. Merge sort algorithm is a divide and conquer algorithm where we have one big array. Let's say we have a list of cars. Then what we do is we break them into halves. Let's say this is a uh, left half and this is the right half and then we recursively sort these two halves we sort recursively this one and also we sort we sort recursively this one and then we combine those two arrays together to get a uh, final combined sorted arrays that's how much sort works so in this video we are going to talk about the third part which is combining Two sorted arrays into one single sorted arrays. Let's get it started. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. If you think this video is helpful to understand this algorithm, please like and share with your friends. If you have any questions, please write down your questions in the comment box below and I will try to answer those questions as much as I can. I'll see you in the next video. We got two sorted arrays here or a list of cards here this is also sorted and this is also sorted and our objective is to combine those two lists and make a single list which will also be sorted so we don't know what values they have what values they have but we do know one thing that this is sorted and this is also sorted so one very naive approach would be combine all the cards from here and from here and sort it using any known sorting algorithm could be merge sort or the quick sort in that case it would be order of n log n operations probably we can do it better we are not really taking advantage of the fact that this is sorted and this is also sorted instead of combining all them and doing a n log n operations let's try it in a different way using this two pointer where I have one pointer, let's call it blue pointer or the blue index. And then again, this is the red pointer or the red index. So if you, if this is a Python list, then it, it will indicate to the zeroth index or the first element of the list. And this is also will indicate to the zeroth index or the first element of this list. So what we are going to do is we are going to check one by one element from this index element from this index or we can say card from this index or card from this index and we'll compare which one is the lowest and we'll take the lowest one and we'll continue to the rest of the arrays so let's get started first let's check this one what value is it this is three and what value it is this is three so we got same values in that case it doesn't really matter so we'll take just one. Let's take the uh, this one. Since we have moved this card, then this index or this pointer will go to the next next one. And we won't move this one because we didn't take out this card. So now our blue pointer is pointing to this card. Red pointer is pointing to this card. We already know the value of this one. And now we'll reveal this one. All right, so this is four and this is three. Which one is the lowest comparing these two? Three is the lowest. So we'll take three and we'll move our pointer here. And then we'll reveal this one. What value is this? All right, again, we got same values. This is four, this is four. If you got same values, it doesn't really matter if this four comes first or this four come first. We can take any one of them. Let's take the uh, black one and move this pointer to the next one. And now we know these values. Uh, let's reveal this one. And this is six. So definitely four is 
smaller than six then we will take four and we'll move our blue pointer to the next one and now we reveal this one this is six this is also six so it doesn't really matter which one we take let's take the red one this time and six will come here and it will move to the next one we'll reveal this one so this is seven this is six now we have to take the lowest one which is six and we need to move our pointer to the next one so it will come here we will reveal this one this is eight this is seven definitely seven is smaller than eight so we will take seven and our pointer got exhausted which means we don't have any other cards left on this array or in another word we can say we have checked all the elements from one of the arrays in that case what we are gonna do is we'll take all the elements all the rest of the elements from the other array and why is that because we already take all the elements smaller than this value and then the rest of the values we know that they are already sorted so if we take this one and also take the rest of the values from here we know that they're already sorted so we can just take them and put it here so let's do this this it will come here and this one will come here let's check this one and the value of this one is nine so now we have a, a completely new list which is sorted three three four four six six seven eight nine so this way we checked every element from those two arrays only once so that's how this algorithm is order of n time complexity which is better than order of n log n i hope it helps it helps you to understand how march sort works or how can you march two sorted arrays if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and if you think this video is helpful, please uh, like, share and comment. I will see you in the next video.